Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes NVIDIA's Next Act, TSMC's New Fab, Saturday Asia Briefing. NVIDIA's Next Act, TSMC's New Fab, Saturday Asia Briefing. Bloomberg. This week, China's stock market experienced an eight-day rally, lifting a key index 10% above its recent low. However, investors are still cautious. In contrast, Japanese stocks have been breaking records and investors are optimistic. NVIDIA, a chip company, declared that AI had reached a tipping point, leading to a rally in global equities. NVIDIA also joined Jeff Bezos and Microsoft in funding a startup that develops humanoid robots. Retail investors are jumping into the market for option income ETFs to find high yields. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has officially opened its Kumamoto Fab in Japan. The mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 remains unsolved, but with the advancements in communication satellites, such a tragedy could potentially be prevented in the future. The Miami Triangle is attracting billionaires, similar to the infamous Bermuda Triangle. The American-made lander that brought the US back to the moon may have landed on its side. Americans working from home may face limitations in earning over $200,000, as higher salaries are often associated with being in the office. The cost of servicing the Valkyrie, a luxury car, is $350,000. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees World, here to bring you the latest news and analysis from around the globe. This week, we witnessed some interesting developments in the world of finance, technology, and beyond. China's stock market saw a significant rally, while Japanese stocks broke records, showing contrasting investor sentiments. NVIDIA, the chip company, made headlines by declaring that AI had reached a tipping point, leading to a global equity rally. They also joined forces with Jeff Bezos and Microsoft to fund a startup developing humanoid robots, taking us one step closer to a sci-fi future. In the world of investments, retail investors are diving into the market for option income ETFs, searching for high yields. Meanwhile, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company opened its new fab in Japan, signaling the continuous growth of the semiconductor industry in Asia. In other news, the mystery of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 remains unsolved, but advancements in communication satellites offer hope for preventing such tragedies in the future. The Miami Triangle is attracting billionaires, much like its infamous counterpart, the Bermuda Triangle. And in a quirky turn of events, the American-made lander that brought the US back to the moon may have landed on its side, reminding us that even the most monumental achievements can have their hiccups. Lastly, for those with expensive tastes, the cost of servicing a luxury car called the Valkyrie will set you back a whopping $350,000. So, think twice before splurging on that dream ride. Now, let's dive into some analysis. NVIDIA's declaration about AI reaching a tipping point is significant, as it highlights the growing importance of artificial intelligence in various sectors. This, in turn, has positive implications for global equities, as investors see the potential for AI-driven innovations to revolutionize industries. The opening of TSMC's new fab in Japan further solidifies Asia's position as a dominant player in the semiconductor industry. As demand for advanced chips continues to soar, Asian companies are well-positioned to capitalize on this trend and potentially reshape the global tech landscape. On a lighter note, the Miami Triangle's rise as a billionaire hotspot adds a touch of intrigue to the already mysterious world of wealth. Who knows what secrets lie within this enigmatic triangle? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these stories. Do you have any ideas or questions? Let's keep the discussion going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.